Have you ever considered drawing using a charcoal stick? If not, you might be missing out on one of the most versatile drawing medium. This has been one of my favorite drawing medium and today I'm going to share about the supplies I use to create artwork in charcoal. So we will talk about the most commonly used material for charcoal drawing. But first, this is the first time we are meeting. Well, my name is Monica and I share tips, tools, demos, techniques, basically anything that can help you start your own journey of drawing and painting. Or if you're already creating art, then improve it, especially towards realism, because that has been my passion. So if that is something that you would want to learn, consider subscribing. So let's start with the pencil. So charcoal pencils come in three different levels of hardness uh, depending upon how hard or soft the tip is and that determines how dark or light the, the charcoal will be, the charcoal mark will be uh, given your pressure on the pencil remains the same. So here you know you can see here it's dark and medium and then there is a, a light one as well. There are also charcoal sticks as you see here, vine and willow are the most common one uh, and they come in varied thickness. You can also choose, there are sometimes this thick as well. You can also choose to you know buy a box which has like the constant thickness. So this is what like the box looks like uh, if you ever want to buy it. And then these are some square sticks. Uh, these are rich, intense uh, darks. Uh, they're also known as like uh, pe pastel uh, sticks because they are like so intense and depending upon the medium, the binder that is used to create uh, these sticks. But these are like my go-to medium when I want intense uh, darks. Now charcoal is a coarse material and it has a little bit of grit to it. So it may require a little getting used to. So practice with different forms and see which one do you feel most comfortable with. I forgot to mention there's also something called charcoal powder and it comes in boxes like this. Now this one is graphite but uh, I don't have the box for the charcoal right now but there is a similar box available for charcoal powder as well. Uh, although you don't need to buy it this is how you know this is I, I you can create it at home. So what I do typically is that um, you know for broad charcoal sticks I can just rub them over a sandpaper and collect the charcoal dust and that I can use later to apply it with let's say a cotton ball um, as well to give a wide wash over any drawing area. Another way to use this charcoal powder is to create uh, an applicator like this and this is a homemade applicator I just use an old nylon sock and um, you know stuffed in a couple of uh, cotton balls in it but this gives it much smoother finish as compared to like a raw cotton ball so that's another way to use uh, charcoal you can even choose to use different forms for different purpose so for example for like large backgrounds and dark backgrounds i choose to use like broad sticks whereas for outlining or drawing i just use a pencil a couple more things you need is like eraser so uh, this is a kneaded eraser this is something that you can uh, you know need and shape in any um, shape and this comes very handy to lift off the charcoal particles and you know charcoal causes a lot of smudges so this is very handy in uh, cleaning up the work area or even like you know lightening up uh, the charcoal the other thing you may need is stump uh, paper stump so this this is how it what it looks like and this comes very handy in like even applying like you know i can even apply uh, charcoal powder uh, with the stump or i can just you know lay down the charcoal with a stick and then smooth it smooth it with a with a stump if you don't want to invest in stump right away first of all they are very cheap but in case you you're, you don't have access to that you can actually roll off a piece of paper and then just use it like a stump it's just that the you know the piece of paper the handmade stumps are not very long lasting and they crumble a lot so this is a very handy tool uh, for drawing in charcoal one another thing you may want to consider investing in is a white charcoal pencil and this general's pencil is one of the best quality especially if you are drawing on like a gray paper then um, adding white height lights with this is is very it gives gives like a very um, nice finish to the drawing 
the last on my list is some blending tools so you know this is one of my favorite bending blending tools so this is chamois it gives a very very smooth finish let me just show you how it looks like so this gives a very smooth finish you can see it here if you want a little rough finish then this is a piece of cloth called felt this is very handy in that i'll probably create a separate video to show how to use these blending tools and you know the one of the easiest way to blend is just use a paper towel as well so all these things combined together give you a wide variety of effects you can achieve using charcoal these are just some of the options but as you practice more with them you will find your own way of how you like to use this wonderful material here is a portrait done using some of these materials so if you like what you learned here consider sharing this video with that one friend who may also benefit from this information